Hello and welcome to another lecture on probability. Today we shall be discussing Bayes theorem and how to apply Bayes theorem to a given numerical problem and finally we are going to conclude by discussing some numerical problems that would be based on the use of Bayes theorem. So starting with the statement of Bayes theorem which states that let E1, E2 up to En be the set of N mutually exclusive and exhaustive events whose union is random sample space S of an experiment. If A be any arbitrary event of the sample space of the above experiment with probability of A not equal to 0, then the probability of event EI when the event A has already occurred is given by probability of EI by A and is equal to the value as shown which is equal to P probability of A intersection EI divided by the summation of product of probability E1 and probability of event A1 E1 has occurred and the probability of E2 into probability of A when E2 has already occurred up to probability of EI into probability of event A when EI has already occurred. This can be further rewritten by substituting the probability of A intersection EI equal to probability of product of probability EI into probability of A when EI has already occurred. Substituting this value we get probability EI by A equal to probability EI into probability of event A when EI has occurred divided by probability E1 into probability of event A when E1 has occurred plus probability of E2 into probability of A when E2 has occurred up to probability of EI into probability of A when EI has occurred. This can be written in the summation form as shown in equation number A where the denominator term has been replaced by the summation term which includes the product of probability of EI into probability of occurrence of A when EI has already occurred. Now this gives us the value of probability of EI by A using the Bayes theorem. Next we are going to find the procedure that is used to find the probability of the given problem by the use of Bayes theorem. The first step to find the probability is to identify mutually exclusive and exhaustive priority events E1, E2 and En. The second step is to find probability of occurrence of E1, probability of occurrence of E2 and probability of occurrence of En and check that the sum of these probabilities is equal to 1. Step 3 is to Identify the event A and find the probability of event A when E1 has already occurred and probability of A when E2 has occurred. In the similar way, the probability of event A when En has already occurred. Next step is to find event EI by A whose probability is required. And the last property is to calculate the probability of event EI when A has already occurred by using Bayes theorem. And finally we are going to discuss two numerical problems that would be based on use of Bayes theorem. Now the first problem states that bag 1 contains 5 green and 3 red balls whereas bag 2 contains 4 green and red, 6 red balls. A red ball is to be drawn at random from one of these bags. And we have to find the probability that the ball was drawn from bag 1. In order to solve this given problem, we are going to suppose two events A and B. Let A be the event when, when red ball is drawn and B, B is the event when ith bag is selected where i is equal to 1 or 2 here. Now here, since one bag is chosen out of two bags, therefore probability of B1 is equal to B1 is equal to 1 by 2 and similarly probability of B2 
is equal to 1 by 2 again and the probability of a by b1 is given as 3 by 8 since in pack b1 we have 3 number of red balls similarly probability of a by b2 is equal to 6 by 10 since in pack 2 we have 6 number of red balls now we have to find probability for which bag 1 is chosen and ball drawn is red that is probability of b1 by a now using Bayes theorem we have probability of b1 by a equal to probability of b1 into probability of a by b1 divided by probability of b1 into probability of a by b1 plus probability of b2 into probability of a by b2 now substituting the values we have probability of b1 when a has already occurred equal to 1 by 2 into 3 by 8 whole divided by 1 by 2 into 3 by 8 plus 1 by 2 into 6 by 10 this gives us a value of which is equal to 3 by 16 into 80 by 39 which is equal to 5 by 13 thus the probability of drawing a red ball from the first bag is 5 by 13 we have another problem which says that a man is known to speak truth 3 out of 4 times he throws a die and reports it to be 6 what is the probability that it is actually 6 now in order to solve this problem we suppose E to be the event that the man reports that 6 occurs in the throwing of die and S1 be the event that 6 occurs and S2 be the event that 6 does not occur then PS1 is equal to the probability that 6 occurs which is equal to 1 by 6 and PS2 is equal to the probability that 6 does not occur which is equal to 5 by 6 and probability of occurrence of E when S1 has already occurred is equal to the probability that the man speaks the truth and its value would be equal to 3 by 4 probability of E by S2 is equal to the probability that 6 has not occurred and the man is speaking lie that is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 which gives us a value of 1 by 4 hence by the use of Bayes theorem we have probability of occurrence of S2 when E has already occurred equal to probability of S1 into probability of E by S1 divided by probability of S1 into probability of occurrence of E when S1 has occurred plus probability of occurrence of S2 into probability of occurrence of E when S2 has already occurred. This is equal to 3 by 8 which was obtained by the use of Bayes theorem. Hence the value of this required probability is 3 by 8. With this we conclude our lecture which was based on Bayes theorem and finding out the probability by the use of Bayes theorem.